Hello, today we will be solving University of Hyderabad MSc entrance exam questions. If you like this video, make sure to hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. The first question is, we have been given standard deviation of 100 students and, and 5 marks have been added to each student's score. We have to find the standard deviation of the new set of marks. Here is a reminder that standard deviation is independent of change of origin but not of scale. So the new standard deviation is equal to 13 itself. I understand many of these questions will be very easy for you. So it simply means that your preparation is going amazing. Next we have been given A occurs whenever the event B occurs. Which means that probability of A is less than equal to probability of B because A is a subset of B and C is not equal to a null event. I simply consider probability A intersection C which will be less than equal to probability B intersection C. On dividing it by probability A, we find Next question, probability A union B is equal to 0.9. Probability that at least A or B occurs is equal to 0.9. And we have to find probability A given B complement. Probability A given B complement is equal to probability A intersection B complement upon probability B complement, which is equal to probability A minus probability A intersection B. We already have the values. Hence, the required answer is 2 by 3. Now, to understand why probability A intersection B complement is equal to PA minus PB, think of it this way. Here, probability B is equal to probability of first area plus second area. This is equal to probability B intersection A plus probability B intersection A complement. Now let's check question number 4. We have been given a box which has 4 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and we have to draw 3 balls. We have to find the probability that box number 3 is in second place. See, let's do it very simply. Let's place the ball with number 3 in the middle. Now all we have to figure out is the way such that the balls before number 3 are smaller than 3 and balls after number 3 are bigger than 3. Now there are total 4C3 that is 4 ways. Also we see that after 3 there is only one number left which is 4. So there is only one way of putting it. And before 3, we can take either 1 or 2. So, there are total 2 ways. So, the required probability is 1 by 2. Two numbers are selected at random from 1 to 100. And the probability of an event n1 n2 greater than 1 by 4 n1 plus n2 square is. Now let's define A as this. To simplify, I can write A is equal to n1 square plus n2 square minus 2 n1 n2 less than 0. Hence we get n1 minus n2 square less than 0. Here n1 can be less than n2 or n1 can be greater than n2. So this incorporates all the cases. So probability of A is equal to 1. In the next question, we have been given 3 people who are playing a game. And to make a move, one has to get a head. Otherwise, it will go to the next player. And we have to find the probability that C will be the first one to make a move. This can happen in the following way. 
A doesn't win, B doesn't win and C wins. Here if C also doesn't win then we can have another trial where A doesn't win, B doesn't win, C doesn't win, A doesn't win, B doesn't win, C wins. So similarly we will get a GP. So we have three components of a machine and at any given time we have been given the probabilities of the machine working. Remember all the components of the machines work independent of each other. We have to find the probability that the machine is in working state at any given time. Now when we talk about at least case we always find out the union. So we see that this probability comes out to be 0.58, hence it is less than 3 by 4. Next question, x belongs to binomial 16 comma 1 by 2 and we have to find this expectation. Whenever x belongs to binomial distribution, expectation of x factorial r is equal to n factorial r into p to the power r. Here r is equal to 4. We will simply expand n factorial 4 p to the power 4 